welcome to this week's Fat Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Carrie, and this little guy is Tuco. You hopefully saw him last week on last week's video. If you didn't, go back and check it out. In fact, I'll post a couple playlists up here. Get caught up on all of our videos, meet our patients. He just, he just pooped. I'm sure you guys saw that, but um, I just saw a little tail waggle. That's part of owning bird. This is Tuco. You can see his story last week, so I'm not gonna go all into that, but we have made great strides. But he likes me, and I'm it. He still wants to attack everybody else, so that's kind of a challenge for sure. But Tuco is a Hans macaw. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last video, uh, which is the smallest breed of macaw out there which also means he thinks that he's the same size as a hyacinth um, or a scarlet macaw. So <laughs> he's not, but he's got that little bit of a little man complex attitude, which can be pretty common of Hans macaws I've heard. Yeah, I think he's a part of our family now. I went ahead and microchipped him. I should have shown that on video. People do not understand the importance of microchipping their birds because these little suckers can obviously fly away. Um, anything could happen and they can get so far from home and so lost that you can't, you know, search all of those areas because they can fly. So microchipping is so, so, so important. I guess that's it. We're gonna just jump into this week and get started. Chai is just thinks she's a jungle cat. Chai Chai, a jungle cat? Kitty kitty? She is precious. Okay, well it's Lunchables Day, sister. You're taking the no kitty pledge today. No more kittens. I know. We're gonna get you spayed and give you some meds, okay? What? That's not Lunchable. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to. I was gonna let you go a little bit further. Awake from surgery, looks a little, a little woozy still. Poor lunch. Glad that's over, huh? Hey, Oliver. He's a good boy. That's the sweet angel I know. You look good today. <laughs> you look great. You're so sweet. What a good, happy boy! Someone's feeling much better. There it is. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, okay. we're pulling the catheter. We've been a little bit of a troublemaker trying to bite when we take your temperature. Yeah. But eating okay, pepped up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and pull the IV catheter and see how we do getting back to being a dog. That facial swelling is probably from all the crystalloids um, that he's been given, all the um, types of fluids like lactated ringers that he's been given. So we definitely don't want to overload him with that. So it's time to give him a break. Give that cone a break, huh? Yeah, buddy. Let's see how you do. He's a new man. Good boy, come on. He said, I don't have a coat. I know. I you, I see it. I see it. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. My turn, Oliver. Come here. Oh, it's a good boy. Good boy. We are going to move Oliver out of isolation now. So he's doing great. He's a little titchy. Gets very nervous. Has not been socialized much. So we'll go really slow. But he gets to come out and then go to a regular kennel. So he's going to to be a puppy now so that's great here he is out of isolation in the real world he's very skittish though if we do something he doesn't like he tries to bite that's his language of i don't like that so we definitely don't want to get bitten today Okay. <laughs> 
god. I knew it was gonna be dramatic. <laughs> Your babies, you hurt their feelings. Look at these ears. We got a bent one. Looks like a little Phil. Sorry, Phyllis. <laughs> a lot less she still has a couple of those attacks but nothing like you saw last week i also want to show you her tooth i don't think we saw that whoa like that canine could potentially just pop right on out pop right out we well, don't want to do did, that you did see that one day this week there was a molar laying on her bedding yeah. no. came in, uh, coughed yeah. out a molar <laughs> That was laying in her bed as like a little, I guess she was putting that in there for the tooth fairy. Tooth fairy. Okay, little one. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh my goodness. She needs extra pants. She needs something. extra treats. Extra distraction, Shelby. Just distraction. How many people have vaccinated a child? Um, I'm going to get back here since she's okay with that. A lot of people Oh, good vaccinated. girl. She just needs a lot of moral support. Yeah, are you a good girl? Oh, you look so snazzy in your jacket. Look at you, you feeling good? Feeling good, looking good. Well guys, it's my day off as you can tell. I'm looking a little casual and crazy today. Casual and crazy. I feel like that could be my, my style. Where do I even start? So my cat brought in a screaming little creature um, and I thought I was gonna have to euthanize it because I'm not gonna let my cat torture it until it dies but then my daughter who's 10 and her best friend were here um, and they're like oh my god and I thought it was a baby rat but turns out it's this he's breathing so that's good hi bunny what are you? You look like a marsupial. You know, like a little flying squirrel is what he looks That's like. That's what I said at the beginning. I was like, he looks like a Yeah, because squirrel. his legs, like... Please don't bite me. Like, that's fine. Oh, oh, I saw that. He's like licking. Right. So I was like, it's a squirrel. Look at its tail, but it's not a normal squirrel. Turns out it's a flying squirrel, which are nocturnal, which you never really see in Texas because... They're nocturnal and they're very elusive. Well, I've never seen one anyway, and that's what I read doing my, my Google research, which don't do that, by the way. People don't like that, but what are you gonna do? I don't have textbooks on flying squirrels. So anyways, I just am like painted the picture of this thing's probably gonna die because my cat was doing who knows what with it. And then the girls were like, just go get stuff. So I went to work, got the little chick incubator, which we use to keep fluids warm and brought home just some puppy milk and it was soaking wet whenever they first brought it in, I guess, because it was raining outside. And they kept it warm and worked on feeding it. And now here I am working on vet ranch stuff and feeding a tiny flying squirrel, which I didn't think was gonna live. So here's this little incubator. I hate to wake him up because he is nocturnal. Hey, little bud. Hi. Can I give you some calories? Oh, he can't even keep his eyes open. You try? Bird? Oh. Good? Okay. Good job. Take a nap. Go back to sleep. He's cute. He's so cute. Are you hungry? Oh. Tell me that's not cute. Oh, go, go. What was that? He's just oh, very he's so excited. Cute. Look at his little head. Why is he 50% head? Like, it's like head, body. Like, his head is wider than his body. We need to do some antibiotics today because of the cat bite. Wants to 
posture to adopt. Look at this. Hey, he's like got it's real hair. Baby. Real hair it's now. Baby. He's getting shepherd hair. He's soft. Mm -hmm. Well, Augie is growing like crazy. Apparently, he possibly had a foster to adopt applicant at the event last weekend. So, hopefully, Augie! Augie! Ooh, that's where you try to go through the fence. Today. This is such a good thing to train your cat to tolerate the soft paws. Feet clawing is not okay. So we definitely want um, to look at all other options like trimming nails short, lots of scratching posts, and these lovely nails. He's ready for Halloween. Yeah. Walker's least favorite segment. <laughs> Sorry about it. Fan mail. Fan mail. This is the address. Ta -da! So we have some really cool things. First one, I'll let you open. I have not opened it. Okay. I know what two things are because one came straight to the clinic, so I opened it because I thought maybe it was for me. Oh, oh this makes sense now. It's a bubble gun? Yeah, the dogs are gonna love that. <laughs> it's like I accidentally opened this. I can't wait to shoot them with bubbles. And it's dog friendly bubbles. So, puppy bubbles. What a cute fun. idea. And they're yeah. peanut flavored. Yes, we were talking about making an Amazon wish list of things that the animals here need, especially things for enrichment like uh, slow heater bowls and West Paw little topples and things like that. So this is right up the same alley of things. This will provide a lot of enrichment for puppies and dogs that like them. Enjoy your gift. There are three items total, but may not ship together. The bubbles also come in catnip, but they were out. You can add some water to the bubbles for the gun. I love what you guys do. Have fun from Miranda Dewey. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you. Oh wait, this is probably the third thing. Oh wait, I need to say this really quick. A client that comes here and we've seen their dog for years, watches that ranch. It gave me $200 today. Shout out. Thank Shout you. Out. Thank you to Odin's dad. Oh, this is what you got for the cats. What is that? Flat laser balls. The oh. kittens are gonna go bananas. How I think fun. it's from the same person. Okay, part of the bubbles order. I couldn't leave out the kitties just because they were out of catnip bubbles from Miranda. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you. All right, this thing I also know about, but I have to show you guys. Enjoy your gift from Brooke Riblin. Riblin? Riblin? Ooh. What is happening? What is this? It's a high dollar bed right here. It's an orthopedic bed, and there's four of these things. Oh my goodness. Is one of those like mattresses that explodes? It is not gonna explode. It'd be so dramatic. It was gonna explode. It's gonna go pop, pop, pow and like pop open. Oh, this is just the, the pad. That's yeah. the cover. Duh. I thought that. Wow. I didn't realize. I I couldn't tell that this was egg carton. What do you call this? Egg crate. Egg crate. No, egg carton is like the plasticky part. Egg crate foam. Yeah. And it's big. Oh my like goodness. It. Thank you so much. Let's put one together and we'll show it. And then let's go give the cats some toys and see how they do. But thank you guys so much for all of these things. Again, if you want to send something, here's the professional version. We're going to put the cover on, but look at this bad boy. It's a huge. Ricky Bobby's going to be our first. Look, we got too many bed. Come on. Oh my god, it looks like a lounge. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute.
Well guys, I feel like we ended this week on such a high note, especially compared to how we ended last week. So I'm so grateful for you guys um, that support us. All your wonderful comments are just amazing to read. So thank you so much for your support with uh, subscribing and donating and even all of our fosters and people local. We could not do this without you. So thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Bye. So cute.